All right, Trevor, what game are we playing today? Small World. And do you like Small World? I love Small World. What were you just telling me earlier? That this is one of my favorite <laughs> games that we have. Okay. I guess we could close right now and just say done, huh? <laughs> Basically, I mean, what more do what we more need, do need to know? <laughs> That's right. Well, what is Small World all about? Small World, as you can see, is a bunch of jumbled mess, but it's fun jumbled mess because you have races over here that give you special abilities and essentially allow you to win the game. Nice. And, and those are all random, it looks like. Yep, so you'll shuffle these and just whatever comes out, then that's what that race is. Nice. You got a huge board and you got a lot of special tokens. Mm -hmm. Is it hard to keep it all straight? Sometimes, but you have this handy dandy little sheet here that tells you what each one of these things is. So it tells you what the race powers do, which are these guys. So there's like the rat man and the dwarves and the wizards and everything like that. And then down here, it's got these little tokens that add the power to the races and it tells you what each one of those do and the fun part about this game is that there's so many combinations of different things that can happen that it just makes it unique and really fun. Awesome, so that's a good way to keep track of that. And is it hard to keep track of how you play it on your turn? Um, you know, it is at first, but after you've played the game before a couple of times then it's not too hard, just, simple. just like most games. Alright, well tell me about the board. Okay, well, this board is a four-player board, as it says up in this corner here. That um, means there's more boards? That does mean there's more boards. On the back of this board mm -hmm. would be, uh, it would be another number of player, I don't remember which. And then it also comes with this board, which is a, this would be a two-player board. Yeah. And on the back would be the three-player board. Awesome. So I think the back of this one's a five-player board. What's so, the objective? What are you trying to do? The objective is to get as many victory tokens over here as you can. And okay. I will explain how to do that right now. Awesome. Go for it. What do you do on your turn? Okay, so on your turn, at the very beginning of the game, you'll choose your race. What you do is, these are ranks, one, two, three, four, and five. And you, if you want the first rank, then you'll just take that rank and everything moves up and this will replenish here. Okay. But say I don't want that rank, I put a victory token to pass that rank. So I say, I don't want that, I don't want that, okay, I'll take these guys. Dead. And then... Dragon this, Master Halflings. Oh yeah. Awesome. They'll be beast. And then this replenishes here. But say a bunch of people have decided to pass on these here at the top. Um, and somebody says, okay, I want these guys. So they take this and the victory tokens that have been placed on it to pass. Nice. So eventually someone will get those rights. So now, yeah. are you going to be Dragon Master Halflings the rest of the game? Um, you know, I could be, but the wise choice would be not to because these numbers right here tell me how many of these I get. So Halflings give me six and the Dragon Master give me five. So all I'll have 11 tokens okay. to play with. And so... I'll grab those out really quick. Okay, so at the start of your turn, you will take your number of tokens, however many you got from these numbers, and you will um, do your first conquest. Now, normally, you'd come in from any end region that's touching the edge of the board, because that's just how it plays, but with the halfling special abilities, I can pop up anywhere for my first one. So to conquer a region, you need two tokens, plus any tokens, extra tokens that are already on that region. Okay. So, if I wanted to come up here for my first conquest, I'd place two here. But if I wanted to come up here or here, since there's a token already here, it would take three tokens to conquer that region. Okay. And I'd pop up there. And also because of the halflings, they have this special ability that you place this little thing, and that's just like defensive stuff. Then if I want to conquer adjacent regions, I conquer it by placing two, two, um, three, and then since I only have one, yeah. what I can do is take this dice and say, okay, I want to go after this region, but I only have one. 
So what this dice does is it gives you reinforcements. Okay. It doesn't give you any extra tokens, but if I only have one and I roll a zero, if I roll a one, that says I have two tokens so I can conquer this region even though I only have one. But this can only be used for your last conquest on that turn. Awesome. Okay, so you conquered that many and then what happened? So I conquered that many regions and I can first you take all the extra tokens so you leave only one on each region that you have and you redeploy them to any other space because if other races want to come take you out you may say hmm, I want to defend these guys and these guys so they can't come through as easily. Okay. Um, then after you redeploy and everything you score. So you score one point for every region plus uh, any special abilities that your race or whatever might give you. So I get one, two, three, four, five for this turn. So I'll take nice. a five token and put it over here. You usually want to flip your tokens over so your opponents don't know how many victory tokens you have just to shake things up. Alright, so that's how you do it. You conquer and score. That's how you do it. And then it goes on to the next person. Mm -hmm. Let's check that out. Alright. All right, so there's a lot more happening on the board now. Oh, yes. So what's going on? Okay, so we now have the fourth players coming into the game. So there's four species or races out here. Um, and we're on the third round. So what these rounds are is when we get to the ninth round, the game is over. So right now we're on the third round. Every time a player takes his turn, once all players take their turn, that's one round and you just keep moving it up until you're there. Okay. Um, as you can see, my poor halflings have been started to wipe out by the orcs and the ratmen. So, what I'm going to do is say, I want to choose another race. So this turn, I'm gonna say, I'm going into decline. What decline is, is you flip all your tokens over to the gray side, and you take off any extra tokens that may be on a spot. Um, so now, what's happening is, these races are in decline and they can't spread out anymore. So essentially, um, I just forfeited that race to gain another race, but you can't do it on the same turn. So once I put these guys into decline, I score my four points because there's four of them out there, so I'll take my four tokens and then that's my turn. On my next turn, I will pick another race just like I did before so I want to skip these guys and take them, or take the top one or whatever, and I take them and start attacking with a new race. Awesome, and you'll score points for both your new race and your in decline race. That's right. All right, so on subsequent turns, if you choose not to go into decline, but you want to conquer new territories, can you show me quick how you conquer new territories on subsequent turns? Yes. Say you're, so say you're the I'm the rat man. rat man, let's say that. Okay, so what I do is there was extra tokens here. What I do is I take the extra tokens that were on top leaving one in each section and that gives me three and these three are the ones I can conquer with. Awesome. Whew. So there's a lot and there's a lot more going on but mostly because of the special abilities. The special and abilities are really what make it unique and really fun and that's why I love this game so much. The combinations. Alright, so what are you going to rate Small World? You no, know, I've never given a game this rating before but I'd give it a five. That's awesome. All right, thanks, Trev. Yeah.